Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we'll be discussing how to create your very own video openers or intros using Filmora 11. This video will be a little longer than my usual video so I'm going to break it down into chapters for you so that way you can jump ahead or back up or whatever you need to do uh, as there are multiple ways to accomplish making an amazing opener. Anyway, let's get started. Did you know that Filmora 11 has 50 pre-made templates for intros, outros, and openers? They're located right here under preset templates, all templates, and they're also broken down into categories, end screens, and intros. Let's go ahead and choose one and you can see how that they can all be modified. I'll just pick a random one here. And the great thing about using these is you get to see how they did it and how you might want to modify it to fit your own. Let's just look at it real quick. Okay, so we see there's saying travel memory right there. Let's double click on that. Go up here and change it to um, beach day or whatever you want. And then there's some more. So they did a nice uh, transition there. And they got a date and the word happy time going on here. You can also change the music around if you need to. So that's a quick and easy way to make an opener, just simply use one of the pre-made templates that are already included to look at another one. I'm just going to highlight everything and delete it real quick. Let's look at another one, game intro. Okay, quickly. Okay, so you get the idea how you can change these around and make them your own. In the intro, I used this fantasy opener. I'll show you that real fast and then we'll move on. And music, and of course, I changed the titles. Okay, so everybody gets the idea here. Quick, easy, change some stuff around, maybe modify the music a little bit. And boom, you've got a fast, easy opener. Just make sure it fits the theme of your video. Let's go to chapter two. Now I'm going to show you another way to modify pre-built templates and styles in Filmora 11. Let's go right into the intros. And let's take that travel intro again. And this is the main video in this particular one, it's the only video that they're using in this example. But let's say we don't just want to change the text or the music. Let's say we want to change the video. There is an easy way to do it. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to use some sample video, this um, guy riding a bike right here. So I want to press the alt key, select the video, and drop it. Before I drop it, I want to show you that that, see how that turned into that yellow square? And I'm just going to let go of the mouse and drop it. So that's a quick, easy way to replace the footage that's already in a pre built template. Now, of course, that one didn't work so well because it was a short video, but had you had a long clip, you could have just um, hold the Alt key, drag it down, drop it right in. Okay, that's it for the pre-made templates. Let's go ahead and move to chapter three. Now we're going to use titles to make our opener. Let me show you one I just made for you, and then I'll show you how I did it. Okay, 
So everything I did there is included in Filmora 11, and I just put it all together. So I'm just going to delete it all and show you how I did it. Under Titles, there's a category called Openers. You can use stuff from all over these categories. I picked Openers. Under Openers, I searched for Matrix. Matrix is a, is a film stocks pack. Uh, I have access to it under the standards. Film stock subscription. If you don't, you can simply choose one of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of openers here that are, do, does not have the little red dot on it. And you can sort that by just choosing free here. But for the purposes of demonstration, we're going to choose this one. Okay, and we'll stretch our timeline out a little bit and just quickly scroll through to see what it's doing. So it says Matrix Intro Pack right there. I changed it to say, uh, actually what I did was remove the text, if I recall. I just removed it, and for that all you gotta do is just delete the text. Then I took a second one and put it right about here. And this one just says film stock presents, and then there's your hands. And for this one, I changed it to whatever you want to change it to, custom. Um, we'll just put titles for now. And then I used a very simple technique under video, compositing, opacity. I just brought the opacity down until I could start to see the previous video underneath. Set it to wherever you like it. Let's try that. I'll take the bottom first video and stretch it out so they're equal. Jump over to audio, go to sound effects. I did a search for sci-fi. Um, let's see what we get. I used uh, one of these, probably this trailer. Drop it in. Oops, drop it in right there. And uh, you can either just slice it right off the end or just simply Drag it to size, that's what I did. I just dragged it in, matched it up, and I think I got that pretty accurate. Let's go. And there you go. Of course, that was just an idea. If you're doing a dance video, if you're doing an exercise video, you can choose from literally thousands of different types of titles. You can put all kinds of stuff in and out. And uh, I made that first one off the top of my head on the fly in about 30 seconds. So think up an idea, find some stuff, some, some uh, titles that you like, some fonts, and uh, play around with it. And it's Fillmore 11 just makes everything so easy. Let's go to the next chapter. All right, everybody, welcome back to the final chapter. This is called From Scratch. And what I've done is used some video taken from various parts of the internet, um, including quite a bit of stock media provided with Filmora 11. I, I got it from Pixabay. And I used one or two other clips here and there. Uh, I used a lot of Filmora effects. I used keyframing. Um, I've got overlays, I've got video, uh, audio stuff going on, transitions, et cetera, et cetera. And let me just start by saying the very first thing I did, and this is all going to sound very obvious, but I'm going to say it anyway, because if you've never done this, uh, that's the point of this video is a tutorial. First thing I did is come up with an idea. What, what am I trying to do? So I just sort of close my eyes and say, okay, this is what I want. Then I say in my head, how long do I want this to be? And in this case, I got it to seven uh, seconds, seven point five seconds. Then I then here was the hard part, and I spent a long time on this. It might not look like it, but I spent a long time trying to think of the music. So again, I just sort of close my eyes, visualize wh what can I, how much information can I get? Can and I'm trying to tell a story. So 
what story can I tell in seven seconds and what music is going to help me tell that story? So I spent a long time on the music. I ended up picking Rumble Pack, uh, which you just heard. Um, and I picked Rumble Pack for a couple reasons. One, I needed a heavy beat for this one and I needed a fast beat. I have the Rumble Pack song set to um, show me the marker on the beat every two beats. So that gave me uh, exactly what I was looking for. And uh, that did take some time. Um, I did a lot of searching for music and you should too because the music um, really is the heart of your video. A lot of people um, won't even watch a video if, if the music is doesn't match up properly. So really think hard about that. Anyway, let's move forward. Uh, like I said, this was called From Scratch, meaning I didn't use any templates or anything like that. So let me um, raise this bottom half of the screen up a little bit for you so you can see everything that's going on here. All right, and that's the whole seven seconds. So we'll just start off, and I'm going to go ahead and just mute the Rumble Pack song because you've already heard that, and what we really want to get down to is the, how I did the rest of it. The next thing I did is I went out and started finding videos. Uh, that were appropriate for what I wanted. So there's a guy um, swinging some ropes back and forth. And there's a girl doing some kind sort of exercise. Same guys we're lifting some weights. All right, we got some people running. This whole thing is about fitness and exercise. Doing some push ups, doing some push ups. And finally, she's on the um, some kind of a weight machine there. All right, first thing I did. Now, I want to just go ahead and tell you right up front, any place you see this little red symbol means that I'm paying for this effect. This is from the Film Stocks Standard Pack. I think I pay something like $9 or $9.99 a month or something for this. Uh, it, is in, it is very much worth it, trust me, if you're making content for YouTube, uh, although Filmora has a bazillion things for free, uh, you really want to get this. It's just... You know, your monetization on your YouTube should pay for this subscription in no time flat. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disable some tracks so you can just see what's happening. So first off, I'm going to just show you. So this is Fitness Power Title 2. And I basically left it the way it was because I really liked it. I really liked that intro right there. I did add my own uh, fade right here. So this is actually a dissolve. So I added a dissolve at the end. And you may notice right here, I'm going to unshow that track for you right here. I left a blank space for the fade. I did that intentionally to get the effect I wanted. So let's look over here. Now, you've probably heard me say this before. If you're using a photo or a video clip that has little or no movement, uh, put some movement in it. This is just a video. Uh, very little movement other than him with his arms up and down. So I keyframed it. And I'll show you what I did. And to do that, all you got to do is click on one of those little dots. It'll bring up a keyframe. So we start with our scale at 100. Everything's normal. And as I come across, watch the scale. So I keyframed the scale to scale up in that clip. I immediately fell off into this clip. Now she was already moving, so I didn't need to do anything there. This guy was moving pretty good. I didn't do anything there. I left it black and put a dissolve and then immediately started bringing in the next clip, which is some people running. Uh, because there was good action there, I did not use any keyframes, but I did do an overlay. There's the overlay. Okay, you see that flash with the glitch effect? And then I did a title effect called Tabloid 3. Uh, that one, if you don't see the red dot on it, it means it, it, it comes with the Filmora 11. It's free. And of course, I used the word run. I don't know what it was originally. And then, boom, we come into here now. I used an effect. This is called Fitness Intense Overlay. Now, obviously, he wasn't red. So let's um, take that track out. So that's the actual footage. And that's the footage I used. And that was... To, now, I spent a long time on that one. I didn't just randomly go in here and pick fitness things. I put a lot of effects on these guys before I come up with the one I really wanted. And I really like this one because red 
which means like power, right? And you can see that the look on this, this gentleman's face, he is, he's working it. So, um, and that is exactly the message I wanted to do. All right. Now look at that effect. Is that cool or what? And that is actually just a picture. And I was going to keyframe it, but then I ran across this magic swing effect uh, from Filmora, of course. So I used it, and that is the effect that you get out of it. So instead of keyframe, and I did that, I think that's a fantastic effect. And then uh, I got a couple things going on here. I did a scan line blur. Scan line blur is another effect. Um, and you can see the line. Watch the line. See the blue line, bluish green line coming down? That's the scan line. And I also keyframed it. And I think you can see the. I did two keyframes at once here. Uh, so the scale begins at 154. And watch the rotation and watch the scale. So I gave it a slight rotation with a slight scaling in. All on the beat. You notice I'm doing everything to the beat. Very, very important for this style of video. And then we're going to just fade out. We keep in our scan line rolling on top. We bring in our title. And here I used uh, the wind effect. This is called transition wind. Transition wind. I lined them up together. And then I uh, lined up the audio to fade out with the wind. So when the wind transition starts, the audio fades out. And remember what I'm trying to demonstrate is a uh, making your own video intro from scratch. So from right here, you would immediately use a transitional or, or effect or something to jump right into your video, your advertisement for your, your fitness center, whatever you're trying to do at that point. Um, so that's how I did it. Um, and most of this was thinking and coming up with the music and then finding the appropriate clips and Filmora actually made it fairly easy for me to find my uh, overlays, my blurs, my whatevers, my effects. They made it fairly easy. I mean, it's, I'm not trying to sell you guys on anything or whatever. I'm just trying to show you stuff. Um, I mean, they drop all this stuff into what's new. Everything is broken down and obviously you can just search. So, um, and once again, I say this a lot because I'm not trying to tell you to go buy film stocks but if you see the red dot it means i have paid for that but if you don't want to see that stuff because you haven't paid for it just hit free okay look they're still loading and they're going to keep on loading so under free there are hundreds maybe thousands of effects transitions that you can use now keep in mind when you do switch over to another uh, category you will need to reset that free feature so each time you move, even if you come back to effects, you'll have to reset it each time. So, you know, we go over to titles. We got to go ahead and hit free once again. And that's it, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I hope I didn't bore anybody. Um, I'm just trying to show and explain how you can create your own amazing opener. Uh, it's so simple with Filmora 11. It just starts with an idea, and you can go from there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me comments. And we'll see you real soon on the next video.